Yes, seriously. What is wrong with being average? Because most of y'all are going to be average anyway. What's wrong with living just a comfortable life? Just a nice house, a nice car. Why do y'all all have to want mansions, want to be millionaires, want to drive luxury cars, want to wear luxury clothes? If we're being honest, most of the people who want to be above average can't even answer that question. Most of my people come from nothing. We live in the hood, we come from the hood, we come from the ghettos, the broke. But like 70 to 80% of my people also reject average, reject mediocrity. And you have to be above average or your life is, what, shameful? But if we're being honest, everybody who want to be above average can't be above average because then that will be the new average. That makes sense? You just a turn on for me. <laughs> I'm be honest with you. What the fuck? That level of- This nigga is freaking off, son. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> I fuck with playback. Y'all niggas gonna keep- yeah, Stop pissing me off. <laughs> stop pissing me off, son. Y'all niggas- My son's pick- Wait, what? Like re like she's just being dead ass honest. Ain't she black saying shit like that? This is not profound shit, Marcel. Um, for most people it is. For that whatever is reason, yo, uh, for whatever reason, I don't know. We live in this world now where people just don't want to be. Y'all ain't gonna lie, agent. You pissing me, yo. <laughs> and I know niggas, niggas is gonna wanna tussle fuck out of it. Uh, the gallery that I get it, my nigga. The ne the the crew neck is dumb loose, my nigga. Pause. What is that? Why look like niggas was fighting and yoking you up all crazy, Paul? Like, I just, I get it. The shit costs bread and niggas gonna be like, bro, you can't afford it. That's fine. You feel me? I do, I look good in the very bare minimal. When I get, when I get my bread, you feel me? When my breach come, I don't need to wear designer. <laughs> I can put regular degla shit on and still look better than 90% of you niggas that be having designer on. If we be, if we keeping it a buck. <laughs> but this shit dumb loose, my nigga. I don't, the... The shirt look like a large, but the, the, like, you feel me? The, the circle look, you know what I mean? The shit look like a extra, extra large up top. Up here, pause. I just, I just want to know where you got this shit from and if you could take this shit back. Average or the concept of being an average person is like seen as a slight. And that's been, uh, not only like it's a problem in the United States because like then it allows y'all to get, continue to be manipulated in their capitalism. Y'all just spending money y'all don't have on things y'all can't afford. But here's the thing that's even worse. Y'all niggas be laughing at normal niggas, dog. Yeah. Baby, be Nine to five niggas, y'all, we getting laughed at game. <laughs> we not a scam a drug dealer. Uh, scam a drug dealer. What else is there? Shooter, gangster, gang banger, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. We we cook. Regular we niggas we cook. Making fun of normal niggas. Capitalism and consumerism is not the same thing. Like capitalism, it's is not, but it's fueled by consumerism. Yeah, so I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying, dog. Y'all niggas be caught in victim in it. But then I can't really talk though, because I really, when I was in high school, I really didn't want to be average, bro. I know, but okay, wait, wait. Before we get to that point though, because in my opinion, there's nothing wrong being average. Like if you're average, that's fine. Most people are gonna end up being average, mm -hmm. and y'all should just accept that. And I'm not even saying that to try to be mean or nothing like that. What's that? What's that quote? Um. The thief is joy. Is compa uh, comparison is the thief of joy? Man, just be happy with yourself, man. Wherever you're going to go, set goals and aspirations. And if you don't complete them or you don't, you know, you feel me? You, you fall short, man. Get Pick yourself up, back up and go for something else or go keep going for it. But don't ever, don't ever just be like, just, 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 you know what I'm saying? Just make sure that you find, find a way to be happy and content with yourself at the end of the day. That's what it's all about, bro. Because if, if you're always chasing something, you never really find a, a, middle ground or you are you never content with where you are or where you're going or how you go about you know what i'm saying you'll never be happy and then being average would be the point where some people might you know what i'm saying get up out of here you know what i'm saying i ain't work but feel me just 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 find some happiness within yourself and within the journey that you're taking man because it's not about what you're doing or where you're going it's about the journey at the end of the day like when you get there, you're gonna get there and, and sometimes you don't feel like you there. You know what I'm saying? So that's why those memories and those moments where you were down or those moments where you didn't think you would get here are very important because that is the part that's really like that shows the development. That shows what where you're going and and, and what it's really all about. You feel me? So that's all I had to say. Real little little slight inspirational shit. Not crazy. But really just truly accept the fact that you will probably be an average ass nigga, dog. And that's fine. But when we get to this point right here, bro. How old you? 22. What you do for a living? I work at former Mills and uh... That's weird. Don't laugh, what's going on? That's weird. What's going on? 
That was mad weird. Right, like what's wrong with that? That's mad weird. Hey man, it's like a job. I got a job. Whoa. That's very weird. <laughs> that is very weird. Nigga, we're influencers on TikTok. You got a what? Hey, you got a job, nigga? Fuck is that, man? Hey, go get this bag. Go get this paper, man. Or how about them times when they be asking some of these women on like on the street interviews and they ask like you want nine to five or you want a scammer? Hmm? And you be like, nah, I can't do no nine to five. I need I need I need quick money. I need scamming money. I need I need that money in East. I need that ASAP. And when we I need to go to the mall and we need to go and get that money right then and there. I can't be waiting for no two two weeks. What? Pay stuff, what? No, nigga, I need it right then and there. And we all breeding this like society of where like just being normal mm. and average is like this problem. Man. It's like, very problematic. If you anywhere between the ages of 16 to 25, man, get you a nice job, man. Set you some goals. You know what I'm saying? Save your money. Do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, this fucking shit, this crew neck is pissing me off, son. The shit is turning into a droop v-neck. Or, I don't know if you meant to do this, but it's pissing me off. Take that shit to the tail or something, my nigga. I don't know what happened. Maybe you wa maybe you were supposed to take it to the cleaners. You accidentally washed it. All right, all right, all right I'm off topic. But um, man, it's nice job, man. Get you find your career, find you something that you love to do, man, and go after that shit, bro. That's it, man. If you fall short, man, you fall short, man. It happens. Get back up. Like niggas is not saying give up or no shit like that, but. Be content with yourself, man, and be happy with yourself, man. Just, I don't know, man. Y'all tripping. Nine to five ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Niggas could work a nine to five and be making what a hundred thousand dollars a year. So really, and and if any of y'all niggas sit here and tell me that a hundred thousand dollars is not a lot of money, you niggas are smoking fucking coke, nigga. You coking it. You're on drugs. And I just don't understand it and I don't get it at all, bro. I also think like it's useful to aspire to be better Well, also like just being cool where you're at like where you're at is comfortable But aspiring to be better because it's not just fuck money for a second fuck work just in life Like you yeah. don't want to be a little better. No, 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 no. I, not, that's fine you can, but, but like at the same you time be you, could be com you could be satisfied with where you are exactly. but hungry for more. I feel like that's a good mindset to have. I, I think that many people get caught up in like this concept and this belief of like who they it's are. like a GTA 5 character. Life. And the reason why this is so problematic is that if you don't turn out to be extraordinary, if you don't hit these strides, if you don't become a millionaire, or if you're not like doing this, like these things in life. All that of a social media is portraying. Exactly. There's too many times where y'all get caught up and what's really happening is two things and two folds. A, I think a lot of y'all are getting caught up in this sales pitch of a life that make you all believe that reaching these statuses in life are so easy. So that there's, there's two ways of doing it. There's the first one where like you get degraded because you're not making a certain amount of money. Grant Cardone, man, he's 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 peak at this. He he does a he does a great job at this. He he, he has this great skit. I call it a skit because there's no way this nigga is dead ass serious. He has this great bit where he's just shunning people because they don't make four hundred thousand dollars. If, if I made 400 grand a year, I would be embarrassed with myself as a husband, a father, basically as a human being. <laughs> as a human being. 400 grand. How do you make sense of $35,000 a month? You guys haven't done the math. You have not done the math because you cannot live on 400 grand a year. Maybe, maybe not in the Iron Man mansion, <laughs> but like in yeah, a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga's on coke. This nigga's on coke, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. A house with a car, I sure fucking can. I'd be great. Well, you know, 400,000 is top 1%. Yes. In this country. And he did, for Grant Cardone to sit here and be lying, y'all, and trying to sell it definitely is this idea that you can't live off of $400,000, bro. Yeah, perfect if way you can't you live say. off 400000 you have a spending problem. And it's and it's not yeah, even just Grant Cardone. It's like a whole bunch of podcasters or people who just get on podcasts and who be pitching you all these ideas of these lifestyles. And it's like, man, there's no way you're not going to be able to do this. Oh, it's not going to take that long to get that. And they just sell you 
you on this idea of being someone that's so extraordinary that you think that it's accessible, but the reality is it's not. That's the reason why it's only like one percent of people who are just be walking in their background. Four hundred K is at least more than one percent. That's like mm. point like five percent or point zero one percent. Like it's such an anomaly of money that there's no way that it's that obtainable. But they're trying <laughs> to sell it to you, and if you don't achieve it, literally, he sat there and said, "I don't know how you do it, man. I would be." He said, "You're embarrassed as a human." So the other part is either they sit here and they big up this for this lifestyle, and if you don't achieve it, you're you're a loser, or they try to simplify how to get to that lifestyle. I ever go homeless. This is the steps I do. First thing I do is I get a cardboard, I sit outside Canary Walk Station, and I'd write, I don't want money, I want books. And all I want is I want all those people walking in and out of station going to these highly successful, highly paying jobs. Surely they know something that I don't. Surely they can point me towards a book that I can learn something from. And I'd literally sit there and read while people are walking past, seeing that I'm learning, okay? Seeing that I'm here to learn. And I guarantee there's going to be somebody who walks past and says, you know what? I like that mindset. You're willing to learn. You're willing to grow. Pages from the book to make a fire and keep yourself warm, man. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know where that nigga's from. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that nigga's from. <laughs> and just sit outside Linux Mall and ask and just, for books. <laughs> just read. <laughs> yeah. One day, one day Ti will come by. But you know what I like a lot more than this the nigga. He had shit in a chokehold. I don't know where he's at in life. Realistic things, knowledge. He go tea and he gonna see me reading. You know what's funny? He's I actually really think that strategy that. would work. No, it wouldn't. Shut the fuck up. No, it's it wouldn't. I think it would work. No, it would not. After you get spit on ten times. I'm about to say you think Donald, you think Donald Trump is gonna be. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. In, to, in today's society with social media, bro, it might actually work. Dad just thought about it. that's fucked up. Some TikTok niggas find him, he go viral, they pull back up. He's like, yeah, man, I'm you know, reading the books a little bit. I just need a chance. Ah. Uh, uh, Niggas may give him a chance, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's fucking wild. But yeah, I... It's alright to be average, my nigga. It's alright to fall short. I feel like we're, we're, we're now... We're so out of touch with just, like, finding, like, true happiness and finding our, our callings and doing... And, you know what I'm saying? Figuring the, the more important things out, bro. Like, making $100,000 is good, yes. Like making enough money to where you don't struggle or to where you're not really, you're well off or you're happy. That's what we should be aiming for. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of our family and our friends and everybody that we deem important to us and not really, and not really like struggling. That should be more towards the aiming for. Making $400,000 a year and a million dollars a year is great. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you can't achieve that or you won't achieve that. But if you don't, and let's say you make a. 70, 80,000, 60,000, like 100,000, like just be happy. Like, well, let's say you're making $50,000 in your job, and you, but you're happy as shit at your job, bro. Like, it just all depends on what you deem is, 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 is freedom and is, as far as like happiness and shit like that. Man, your sanity, I'm telling you, your sanity is, is, is way more better than money. Like, you feel me? Having peace of mind and, and being happy and shit like that is way more important. But don't listen to me, man. Figure that shit out for yourself, man. Let me know.